In a time full of conflict and lack of knowledge, people being ignorant about moral ethics, lifestyle and laws, how did one man not only change people's spiritual views, but also set up rules that billions would follow for years to come? This is the story of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his miraculous life. It's about his journey of belief, challenges and victories that still move people all over the world today. Throughout history, some people have made such a big impact that they've changed the lives of future generations. One of these influential figures is not just important for his religious role, but also as a guide, a changer of social rules and a figure who brings people together from different parts of the world. How did a man from the dry lands of Arabia turn into the central figure of a spiritual revolution that changed how people see religion forever. This is about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, whose story isn't just an old tale, but a living influence in the lives of billions, helping them navigate through life's ups and downs. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also ranked as number one in the book Most Influential Person in History by Michael H. Hart, was born in the 6th century CE into a world filled with confusion, worship of many gods, and unfairness. His story shows the strength of having faith, not giving up, and standing strong against challenges. From spending time alone in the Hira cave to becoming a leader in Medina, from being ignored and hurt to being loved and followed, his life shows how big changes can happen. His story answers deep questions, shows what it means to be good, and stands up for fairness and kindness. But how has a message from so long ago and far away stayed meaningful for so many people around the world, affecting everything from personal beliefs to how societies are run? As we look into Prophet Muhammad's life, peace be upon him, we don't just see the events of his time, but the lasting ideas he brought to life, encouraging peace, understanding, and kindness. Early life, birth, and early years. In the dry and fascinating deserts of Arabia, back in 570 CE, a boy was born who was going to make a big impact on history. This boy, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came into the world in Mecca, an important city known for its religious history, busy markets, and ongoing tribal fights, and old pagan customs. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was part of the Quraysh tribe who were in charge of looking after the Kaaba, a very holy place, but this didn't keep him safe from tough times. It was just the start of a life full of important lessons. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, lost his parents early on. His dad, Abdullah, died before he was born, and his mom, Amina, passed away when he was six. His grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, who was a respected leader in their tribe, took care of him after that. When his grandfather died, his uncle, Abu Talib, took over his care. Growing up without his parents and depending on his family's kindness and protection taught Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to feel for those who were struggling and to see the unfairness in his community, youth and early adulthood. As Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, grew older, his reputation for being honest, upright and trustworthy flourished, earning him the title of the trustworthy. Unlike many of his time, he avoided the common practice of idol worship, finding peace instead in quiet reflection and meditation. His love for deep thought often drew him to the cave of Hira, where he would contemplate life's significant questions and the societal issues he observed in Mecca. During his early adulthood, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, married Khadija bint Kuwailid, a wealthy widow celebrated for her noble character and sharp business sense. Despite their age difference, their marriage was filled with love, respect, and mutual support. Khadija's faith in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and her constant encouragement were pivotal during the challenging early years of his prophetic mission. In his 20s and 30s, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, became a successful merchant, renowned not just for his ethical business dealings, but also for his skill in resolving conflicts and his dedication to fairness. While he achieved personal success and a fulfilling family life, his inner life was consumed by a search for truth and meaning, preparing him for the significant revelation to come. As Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, approached the age of 40, his spiritual quest deepened, leading to a pivotal event that would dramatically change his life and the lives of countless others. Revelation and Prophethood the first revelation. One night, under the crescent moon in the quiet desert, as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was about to turn 40, something incredible happened in the Hira cave, where he often used to visit and stay there for hours in deep thinking. On that blessed day, he was deep in thought as usual when the angel Jibril came to him. Jibril brought Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the first lines of what would become the Quran, Islam's sacred book. 
this powerful moment starting with the words, read in the name of your Lord who created, as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, could not read. He replied, I can't read. Jibril once again said, read, read in the name of Allah. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, miraculously began to read, and this began his journey as Allah's messenger. Feeling both amazed and unsure after this experience, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, looked for comfort and advice. He roared down to his home and asked his wife Khadija to cover me up, as he was fearful and trembling after calming down. He narrated all the happening to his wife, who believed in him right away, and accepted Islam as her religion, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as Allah's messenger. She told him to accept his important new role. Her support was crucial, as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, started to feel the true impact of his task. Over time, he shared these messages with those close to him, slowly gathering a group of followers, early converts, and challenges. At first, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, quietly shared his beliefs. His earliest followers were those nearest to him, like his cousin Ali, Zaid, a freed slave, and Abu Bakr, a well-known businessman. They were attracted by Islam's call for believing in only one Allah and for fairness in society, and they became the core of a growing group of believers. However, Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him, message, challenged the way things were in Mecca, especially the worship of many gods, which upset the city's leaders. This led to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers facing serious backlash, including threats, exclusion, and even physical attacks. Despite these hardships, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, kept going, encouraged by more messages from Allah that supported his mission and called for patience. These tough times not only showed the strong faith of Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him followers, but also pointed out the deep unfairness and divides in society that Islam aimed to fix. The message of Islam, focusing on one God, fairness and good behavior, started to appeal to more people, including those who were poor, enslaved or women, who saw it as a sign of hope and respect. Eventually, the situation in Mecca got so bad that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, decided it was time for a new start elsewhere. This led to a major moment in Islam, the move to Medina. This wasn't just a new chapter for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, but a turning point for the entire Muslim community the Meccan period, public preaching and opposition. In the beginning, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, shared the message of Islam quietly with a close group. Later, he was told through a divine message to share Islam with everyone. This was a big change for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the early Muslims. They started talking about believing in one God, fairness, and being good people, which upset many in Mecca, especially the Quraysh tribe who were in charge. The Quraysh made money from people visiting the Kaaba for worshipping many gods, so they didn't like Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, ideas about worshipping only one god. The Quraysh tried hard to stop Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers by making fun of them, spreading lies, cutting off their businesses, and even hurting them. But Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, didn't give up. He had a small group of people who believed in his message. His teachings about kindness, treating everyone equally, and worshipping one god started to attract more people, including those who were not treated well in Mecca. The Night Journey, Isra, and Miraj. One of the most miraculous events in the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, occurred during this period of intense persecution. Known as the Isra and Miraj, it was a two-part spiritual journey that took Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, from Mecca to Jerusalem and then through the heavens. The Isra began with the angel Jibril transporting Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, miraculously from the Kaaba to the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. From there, the mirage involved Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, ascension through the seven heavens, where he met previous prophets, and eventually, the presence of Allah. This event, rich in symbolic and spiritual significance, reaffirmed Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, prophethood, and provided him with comfort and assurance during a time of great personal and communal distress. It also emphasized the central position of Jerusalem in the Islamic faith and underscored the continuity of Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, message with that of previous prophets. The night journey and ascension not only strengthened Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his resolve, but also deepened the faith of his followers, who saw in these miraculous events further evidence of the truth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his message and his special place as God's messenger. It is in this journey of Miraj only that he received the gift of five daily prayers for all the Muslims, with which every Muslim can connect to Allah directly and ask for forgiveness, peace, good health, and all the good desires and a blessed life hereafter.
increasing persecution and the search for support. As the message of Islam continued to spread, the persecution by the Quraysh grew more severe. This period saw some of the early Muslims seeking refuge in Abyssinia, modern-day Ethiopia, where they found protection under a Christian king who was moved by their recitation of the Quranic verses about Mary and Jesus. Back in Mecca, the situation became increasingly untenable, leading Muhammad to seek alliances with tribes from other cities. This search eventually led to the pivotal meetings with tribes from Yath Thrib, later known as Medina, who embraced Islam and invited Muhammad and his followers to migrate to their city, offering them protection and support. The decision to leave Mecca, while heart-wrenching, marked a strategic turning point. It was not merely an escape from persecution, but a migration towards establishing a community where the principles of Islam could be lived out fully. The Meccan period of Muhammad's life, characterized by profound challenges, miraculous events and the unwavering spread of the Islamic faith sets the stage for the next chapter in the Islamic narrative, the migration to Medina. This journey, known as the Hijra, would not only provide a safe haven for Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, but also mark the beginning of the Islamic calendar and the establishment of an Islamic state. The Medinan period, the Hijra. The migration to Medina in 622 CE, known as the Hijra, marked a pivotal turning point in Islamic history. It was not just a physical journey from one city to another, but a transition from persecution to freedom, from a small group of believers to the establishment of a thriving Muslim community. This migration, undertaken in the face of immense danger, demonstrated the profound commitment of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers to their faith and their willingness to forsake their homes and possessions for the sake of religious freedom. Freedom. Upon arriving in Medina, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was greeted with an outpouring of support and goodwill. The inhabitants of Medina, who would come to be known as the Ansar, the helpers, welcomed the Muhajirun, the emigrants, with open arms, sharing their homes and resources. This act of brotherhood and solidarity was instrumental in forging a unified Muslim community. Constitution of Medina One of Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him, first actions in Medina was to establish a framework for the governance and coexistence of the diverse communities within the city. The constitution of Medina, as it came to be known, was a groundbreaking document that laid down principles of justice, rights and duties for Muslims, Jews and other tribal groups, establishing a kind of city-state where Muhammad served as the political and spiritual leader. This constitution was a remarkable achievement, emphasizing the importance of community, religious tolerance and the rule of law. It facilitated peaceful coexistence among Medina's diverse inhabitants and provided a model for governance based on mutual agreement and justice. Key Battles and the Treaty of Hudaybiyah The early years in Medina were marked by several key battles as the Meccan Quraysh sought to quell the growing power of the Muslims. The Battle of Badr, one of the first and greatest battles in the history of Islam, where a small Muslim force triumphed over a much larger Meccan army, was a significant victory and a turning point, boosting the morale of the Muslims and demonstrating that success was possible with faith and unity. This battle was also accompanied by 5,000 angels, sent by Allah for their help. However, not all battles were victories. The Battle of Uhud was a difficult lesson in discipline and the importance of obedience to the Prophet's commands. The Battle of the Trench, also known as the Battle of the Confederates, saw the Muslims ingeniously defending Medina against a formidable coalition of tribes determined to annihilate them. A pivotal moment in the Medinan period was the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, a peace agreement between the Muslims and the Quraysh of Mecca. Although the terms seemed unfavorable to the Muslims at the time, the treaty ultimately led to a period of peace that allowed for the spread of Islam and significantly increased conversions, the conquest of Mecca. After the peace treaty called the Treaty of Hudaybiyah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers took over Mecca in 630 CE without much fighting. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, showed kindness and forgiveness during this takeover. They removed the idols from around the Kaaba, showing that the belief in one God was more important than the old way of believing in many gods. This important event changed Islamic history because Mecca became the heart of Islam. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, coming back to Mecca as a leader, not as someone running away, showed how strong and important his teachings were. During the time Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, spent in Medina, Islam grew a lot. 
Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught that Islam was about more than just personal beliefs. It was about fairness, running a community well, and bringing people together. Companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, known as Sahaba in Arabic, were the followers who saw and met the Prophet during his lifetime, believed in his teachings, and died as Muslims. Their relationship with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was built on profound respect, love, and dedication to the spread of Islam. Among these companions, companions, several hold a special place due to their close association with the Prophet, their significant contributions to the Islamic faith, and their leadership after his passing. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq Abu Bakr as-Siddiq was one of the closest companions and a lifelong friend of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He was the first adult male to accept Islam and is admired for his unwavering support and devotion to the Prophet. Abu Bakr succeeded Muhammad, peace be upon him as the first caliph of the Islamic nation, playing a crucial role in preserving and compiling the Quran and uniting the Muslim community after the Prophet's death. Umar ibn al-Khattab Umar ibn al-Khattab, known for his strong and just leadership, was the second caliph. Initially, he was opposed to Islam, but after converting, he became one of the most committed and influential companions of the Prophet. His caliphate is notable for the significant expansion of the Islamic empire and the establishment of many administrative and judicial processes within the Islamic state. Uthman ibn Affan Uthman ibn Affan was the third caliph and is particularly revered for commissioning the compilation of the Quran into a single book as we know it today. A son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Having married two of his daughters at different times, Uthman's period of leadership saw the Islamic empire grow considerably, though it also faced internal challenges. Ali ibn Abi Talib Ali ibn Abi Talib was the cousin and son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, marrying the Prophet's daughter Fatima. He is also the fourth caliph and holds a place of immense respect in all Islamic traditions. Known for his deep knowledge of the Quran and Islam, Ali's caliphate was marked by both wisdom and challenges, including civil strife. He is especially venerated in Shia Islam as the first Imam. Bilal ibn Rabah Bilal ibn Rabah was an Abyssinian slave who converted to Islam early in Mecca and suffered greatly for his faith. Freed by Abu Bakr, he became deeply attached to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and served as the Muslim community's first muezzin chosen by the Prophet himself for his beautiful voice and heartfelt call to prayer. Bilal's story is a powerful testament to Islam's stance against racial and social discrimination. These companions, through their unique relationships with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and their contributions to the spread and consolidation of Islam, left an indelible mark on Islamic history and teachings. Their lives and deeds continue to inspire Muslims around the world. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is credited with many miracles throughout his life, which serve as signs of his prophethood and the truth of the message he conveyed. Unlike the miracles of previous prophets, which often involved grand displays of divine power, many of Muhammad's miracles were subtle yet profoundly impactful, reflecting his mission's spiritual and practical nature, the splitting of the moon. One of the most notable miracles attributed to Muhammad is the splitting of the moon. It is said that the people of Mecca demanded a sign of his prophethood, to which Muhammad, by the will of God, pointed to the moon, causing it to appear as though it had split into two. This event is referenced in the Quran and serves as a powerful demonstration of divine support for Muhammad's mission. The Isra and Mihraj Previously mentioned, the Isra and Mihraj not only stands as a miraculous journey, but also as a significant event that strengthened Muhammad's resolve and offered profound insights into the nature of the spiritual journey and the unity of the prophetic mission, the flow of water from his fingers. During the times of need, such as during the expedition of Hudaybiyah, it is narrated that companions of the Prophet were in dire need of water, and Muhammad miraculously provided for them by causing water to flow from his fingers, quenching the thirst of the entire assembly. The speaking of inanimate objects and animals. There are numerous accounts of inanimate objects and animals speaking to Muhammad or 
reacting to his presence in miraculous ways. Trees are said to have moved to shade him, stones greeted him, and a camel once complained to him of ill treatment by its owner, showcasing the universal recognition of his prophethood. Significant Religious Events Several important events during Prophet Muhammad's life were crucial in establishing Islam and defining its community's practices and beliefs. Some of them were the change of the Chibla. Initially, Muslims prayed facing Jerusalem for praying, but during Prophet Muhammad's life, a revelation changed the direction of prayer, Qibla, to the Kaaba in Mecca. This shift not only affirmed the Kaaba's centrality in Islam, but also symbolized the distinct identity and direction of the Muslim community. The Farewell Sermon The Farewell Sermon, delivered during Muhammad's last pilgrimage, encapsulates the core ethical and spiritual teachings of Islam, emphasizing equality, rights, and responsibilities among Muslims. It remains a foundational text guiding the Muslim community's moral and social conduct, the compilation of the Quran. While the Quran's revelations began during Muhammad's life, its compilation into a single authoritative text occurred shortly after his passing. This monumental task, overseen by his companions, ensured that the Quran's message would be preserved and transmitted accurately through generations. The last summon and message of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The last summon and message of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, often referred to as the farewell sermon, Khutbat al-Wada, was delivered during the Hajj in the Urana Valley of Mount Arafat on 9th Du al-Hijjah 10 AH 632 CE in the Islamic calendar. This event is of profound significance in Islam as it encapsulates the final guidance given by the Prophet to his followers, covering essential aspects of faith, ethics, rights and social justice, which were meant to guide Muslims in their personal conduct, community relations and interaction with the environment and non-Muslims. The event. The Farewell Pilgrimage, the first and only Hajj performed by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was attended by a large number of followers, estimated to be in the tens of thousands. Knowing that his time was near, the Prophet took this opportunity to deliver a comprehensive message, which many understood as his final counsel to the Muslim community. The sermon was delivered under the open sky on the plain of Arafat, emphasizing the unity of Muslim Ummah, the importance of treating others with compassion and justice, and reiterating key aspects of Islamic faith, such as the worship of Allah alone, the importance of prayer, and the rights of women. The Last Message In his sermon, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, covered several crucial points. Monotheism he reiterated the worship of Allah alone, without associating partners with him, as the cornerstone of Islamic faith. Equality The Prophet declared that all Muslims are brothers to one another and emphasized the equality of all humans, regardless of race or social status, stating that an Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor does a non-Arab have any superiority over an Arab, a white has no superiority over a black, nor does a black have any superiority over a white, None have superiority over another, except by piety and good action. Rights and Duties He highlighted the importance of fulfilling obligations towards Allah, oneself and others, including the rights of women, neighbors, and the less fortunate. He also underlined the sanctity of life, property, and honor. Economic Justice The Prophet warned against usury and called for equitable financial dealings. Legacy and Guidance he reminded his followers that he left behind two things, the Quran and his example, Sunnah, adherence to which would prevent them from going astray. End of prophecy. He also declared and confirmed that after him, there will be no messenger, no prophet coming on this earth till the final hours, and he is the last messenger of Allah. The farewell sermon of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a momentous event that provides a comprehensive guide for living a righteous life in accordance with Islamic principles. It laid down a foundation for human rights, social justice, and personal conduct for Muslims, and remains a source of inspiration and guidance. The final years. As the sun began to set on the horizon of Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him life, 
The final years were filled with important lessons that made his teachings even stronger and helped firmly establish Islam. These years were more than just an ending. They were the peak of a life spent helping others and devoting himself to Allah. The Farewell Pilgrimage, a testament to equality and brotherhood. In 632 CE, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, performed his last pilgrimage to Mecca, an event that has come to be known as the Farewell Pilgrimage. This journey was more than a religious ritual. It was a powerful expression of unity and equality among all Muslims, regardless of race or social status. Standing on the plains of Arafat, he delivered a sermon that resonated with the timeless values of justice, compassion, and human dignity, principles that continue to guide Muslims today. In this sermon, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, emphasized the sanctity of life, property and honor, abolished pre-Islamic practices of oppression and injustice, and reinforced the equality of all Muslims. His words, an Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor does a non-Arab have any superiority over an Arab. A white has no superiority over a black, nor does a black have any superiority over a white. None have superiority over another, except by piety and good action, echo through the centuries, as a clarion call for justice and equality. The Prophet's final days, bringing people together through faith, Talking about the last days of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a moving tale of strong faith, community spirit, and a lasting influence that went beyond his time on earth. As he approached the end of his life, the Prophet's message of kindness, togetherness, and love for Allah was more evident than ever, showing the true purpose of his life's work and the lasting effect he had on those around him and beyond. His last moments. In the city of Medina, under the hot Arabian sun, the Prophet became seriously ill. Even though he was very sick, he never stopped caring for his community, called the Ummah. He kept teaching them, stressing the importance of praying together and treating everyone fairly, especially those who needed help the most. His last appearance in the Medina Mosque showed his lifelong commitment to his community and Allah. Despite being weakened by his illness, he spoke about the core beliefs of Islam and the importance of staying united and supportive of one another. Saying goodbye, as the Prophet's health got worse, those close to him felt a deep sadness and worry, realizing that they were about to lose the guiding light of their lives. Yet, his passing was peaceful and reflected the very teachings he had lived by, surrendering to Allah's will and trusting in Him completely. His death on June 8, 632 CE was a time of great sadness, but also a reflection for Muslims. Medina had flourished with his guidance, becoming a place of faith and brotherhood. Now they face the future without him physically there. Just before his death, a few miraculous and blessed events occurred, which had never happened with any of the other prophets and messengers of Allah. The events surrounding the death of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, are deeply significant in Islamic tradition and are imbued with profound spiritual and emotional depth. They reflect the respect and love between Allah, his messenger, and the beings of the unseen world. One of the most touching narratives from the Islamic tradition involves the Archangel Jibreel and the Angel of Death in the context of the Prophet's passing. According to various hadiths, these events highlight the unique status of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him in the eyes of Allah and the high regard in which he was held by the celestial beings. Angel Jibreel's message. When the Prophet's time was near, it is told that the angel Jibreel visited Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to deliver a message from Allah. Jibreel often visited the Prophet to give him parts of the Quran, but this visit was special. Jibreel told the Prophet that Allah wanted to meet him, which meant that the Prophet's time on earth was almost over. This message was a big honor showing the strong bond between the Prophet and Allah. The way Jibreel delivered the message was very serious and respectful, highlighting how important this moment was. The Angel of Death's Request In a very respectful and extraordinary moment, it is told that the Angel of Death, who is responsible for taking people's souls at their appointed time, asked for permission before entering Prophet Muhammad's home. 
This is unusual because the Angel of Death usually doesn't need to ask permission to take a soul, but this time, out of respect for the Prophet, he did. Once the Prophet allowed him in, the Angel of Death explained that he came to take the Prophet's soul, but would only do so if the Prophet agreed. This shows just how special Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was and how much love and compassion Allah had for him. The Prophet knew it was his time and agreed to go with Allah's plan. These events come from hadith collections and writings by Islamic scholars. They're not in the Quran but are used to show the good qualities of the Prophet, his willingness to follow Allah's plan, and the great respect and love Allah and the angels had for him. These tales are shared to make people feel closer to the Prophet and to show the kind and caring way Allah communicates with his chosen messenger. Staying together through his teachings, Prophet Muhammad's death didn't mean the end of the community he created. Instead, it was the beginning of a new chapter. The principles he set down, belief in one God, the importance of praying, giving to charity, fasting, and making the pilgrimage, stayed as foundations for the Muslim community to grow and stay strong. In their grief, the Prophet's friends found comfort and strength in his teachings. Abu Bakr, a close friend and advisor of the Prophet, reminded everyone that their faith was not in a person, but in Allah, who is eternal. This moment highlighted the community's ability to stay united, not just because of one leader, but through their shared beliefs and dedication to Islam's values. It showed that the Prophet's mission was successful, a community dedicated to Allah, living by the Quran, and embodying justice, kindness, and equality. Even though the Prophet's passing was a deeply sad time, it was also a turning point for Muslims, encouraging them to live by his example. It proved that Islam's message was bigger than any one person, laying the groundwork for a faith that would continue to motivate and guide billions of people throughout history. The last years of Prophet Muhammad's life brought together his spiritual work and the creation of a community based on fairness, equality, and love for Allah. His final pilgrimage and his death were both an ending and a new start for the Muslim community, which was given the duty to spread his teachings. Looking back at Prophet Muhammad's, peace be upon him, life, we see more than just a person's story. We see a movement that brought about major changes in society and spirituality that still influences the world today. His teachings go beyond history books. They live in the beliefs and actions of billions of followers, leading them to be kind, peaceful, and caring. This story of Prophet Muhammad's life aims to show how deeply his teachings have affected us and how his message remains timeless. In wrapping up, we remember that his life's mission is still relevant, offering answers to today's problems and encouraging us to keep seeking higher spiritual and moral ground. That concludes our journey through the life and legacy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in today's narrative. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful journey about the life of Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. If this story has opened new windows of understanding or inspired you in any way, please remember to express your appreciation by liking this presentation, sharing it with friends and family, and subscribing for more insightful and uplifting content about Islam. Your engagement is crucial in helping us share meaningful stories and insights. May Allah shower you and your loved ones with peace, joy, and abundance.